Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The cleaning of ship hulls is one of the most important aspects of maritime vessel maintenance. During their voyages, sea creatures such as barnacles and worms build up on the submerged parts of the ship. This biological fouling, or epibiosis, is the unwanted accumulation of microorganisms, plants, algae, or small sea creatures on surfaces such as ship holes, causing degradation to the paint and metal structures. Biological fouling spawns a range of problems by increasing the weight and drag on the ship. It also reduces fuel efficiency, racking up costs and harming the environment, whilst taxing the ship's systems with sustained higher loads. Divers are therefore sent underwater to clean the gigantic superstructures and rid them of these parasites. Most ships are put into dry docks when it comes time to clean their massive hulls, especially during their yearly general maintenance. However, cleaning a ship in a dry dock incurs very high expenses. It generally costs $1.2 to $1.6 million to put a ship in dry dock, excluding business losses over the weeks it takes to finish the job and set the ship sailing again. That is why, to avoid these losses, many ship owners have decided to clean their hulls while it is still in water, using divers with specialized equipment to do the job. This process is also part of what is referred to as ship husbandry. These divers are a special sort, having to work long hours in dark and oily waters beneath docks and harbors. Their jobs require them to work alone in hazardous conditions under the hulls of gigantic ships. Here, there is no direct way to the surface, and a diver may face great danger under the hull if the tide suddenly recedes and the ship slumps. Divers regularly utilize traditional air tanks for diving, but a fixed hose system is also often used. The technology involved in cleaning ships underwater has also evolved. These days, much of the cleaning is becoming automated and more environmentally friendly. Several ship husbandry operations, particularly hull cleaning operations, will release some amount of harmful compounds into the water. Significant amounts of copper and zinc are released during the underwater hole scrubbing. The negative impact on the environment is huge, as the organisms liberated by the cleaning place an additional strain on the local ecosystem. Modern ship cleaning technology also includes drones. They clean ships without damaging the outer coating or polluting harbors and docks. They simply detach, suck up, and contain the fouling organisms using powerful suctions. Other modern systems, too, are moving away from brushes and hard scrubbing techniques to using concentrated water jets. Some hull cleaning may involve diving to depths that exceed normal diving depths. 
On such occasions, one enters the world of the saturation diver, which is an entirely different realm of its own. There, you're working in a chamber 15 to 20 feet long, pressurized to match the surrounding environment. The chamber is equipped with two bunks on the top, two bunks below, and a small pathway in between. These saturation divers sometimes live there for up to 28 days, breathing a mixture of helium and oxygen the entire time. Saturation diving is like a mission trip undersea. It is always done by a two to three man team who sometimes remain on duty, cleaning in shifts for up to six hours at a time before returning to the sat chamber for the next team to take over. One way to avoid human errors and fatalities during ship hole cleaning and other deep sea activities is by the use of robots. The use of remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, eliminates the problems of human inability to survive underwater. ROVs are fitted with a wide range of tools and are controlled from the safety of a surface vessel or ship deck. This remotely controlled machinery operates at depths far exceeding human reach, and they do not need to decompress. ROV operators must be well-trained to work with such complex equipment. This job is also very technical and requires adequate understanding of the marine ecosystem through stringent training. Though underwater hull cleaning is fraught with uncertainties and hazards, it remains central to global maritime transportation. That is why innovative minds in the industry are sparing no costs in developing technologies that will make the job safer and easier for these brave divers. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.